me, tattoos are very personal and all my tattoos represent my family and people that I love. So guys, this video myself, Harry and Luke will be getting tattooed. And in the next video, Gordon brought up some fake skin. <laughs> and we're doing a challenge. What's the challenge? This challenge is we have to eat straw spicy, uh, no, eat straw spice. No, eat straw pepper. What is it we're drawing? A chili. A chili, sorry. Eat straw a chili. <laughs> pepper chili, so anyway. Eat straw chili. We're gonna put it out on the table without our names on it, so nobody, Gordon doesn't know who it is. He's gonna pick it, whoever wins tattoo Gordon on his real skin. Are you ready for that, mate? It's never too late to leave, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna chip one from one of the Stoltmans, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare it on the lovely Simon, because I'm gonna do the exact same thing on him, and uh, hopefully there's not much of a difference, and hopefully they manage to pull out the bag and do an amazing tattoo, but... If, if you see what they do, I'm gonna be a Tom Stoltman tattooist. <laughs> Watch this space, I'm putting Gordon out of business. So guys, this tattoo is getting finished off by Gordon. We're just going to get it all shaded in and some stuff up here. He's not touching the top half till next time, but we're going to get this completely bliss, blitzed and then just shaded and all that kind of stuff in. You know the joys. He's the expert. I just listen to him and uh, do what he says. Eh? I never said I was going to get tattoos, but I started getting bigger and I thought, you know, tattoos look good on a... Uh, bigger people so I think I got Sinead with my first tattoo just got that on my chest nice and easy one then I kind of got addicted I liked the feel of it and then I got Beast but the Beast that was is down on my uh, bit by my bone down by my ankle and it was in agony so I couldn't get that one finished I think I got this sleeve this sleeve is actually represents my mum um, it's not really finished I've had it for a few years but I've not really got it all finished you can't really see much of it but it's a sunflower uh, like the angel kind of up here, then it's like, a, it's maybe a stairway to uh, heaven and stuff, but all the detail on that will get finished. I just not being back down to see the guy. The Peter Pan one on the back of my leg, again, was just one of my mates wanted to do a tattoo on me. When I was going down, I was like, Sinead likes Disney, I like Disney, so why don't we just get a Peter Pan on the back of our leg? Yeah, I had something called a crap tattoo where you get a random tattoo, just like a gumball machine, you put it on whatever it comes out, you get it. So I had like a handshake with leaves and that coming out of it. And that kind of ruined my life because I was like, right, crap, I wanted to get a sleeve on this arm. So I went down to Gordon and kind of said, look, I want to get a sleeve, but this thing on my wrist was uh, stopping me a wee bit. So, you know, it was quite hard. It was in colour, so it was quite hard to kind of get away. But as you can see here, that's a tiger, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got a tiger and a silver bat right now. Basically, this for me, it means I'm trying to get something that means strength to me, so a lot of like these animals that I'm getting, I mean, the strongest animals are kind of in the jungle or, you know, I'm going to be getting an eagle, so in the sky and all that kind of represents different animals for different strengths and then they're courageous, so it means like they're not scared to go head first at whatever they're chasing, so if they're after their prey, if they're, you know, stuck, they'll do what they can to kind of get out of that situation or hunt, you know, they'll hunt all day to get food for themselves, so they'll hunt their prey until they're dead or do that kind of stuff. So for me, it's like that, you know, in Strongman, you, you need to kind of basically hunt the people you're against and never ever give up. And that's what these kind of animals mean, it's they'll never give up. You know, you never see a tiger if it gets too hard just to step back and go, nah, I don't want to do this. Or you don't see a silverback kind of stepping back and just sitting down going, nah, I'm not going to go and hunt today or going to eat today or, you know, if I'm in danger. It just means strength and I'm going to get an eagle, which also is like the king of the sky. So I'm going to get all that. That's going to be animals, and I'm going to get like a, a bed of sunflowers with my World Strongest Man trophy in it, and then an, an albatross looking over it. Obviously, me being the albatross, I wanted something to represent me, and I wanted the albatross to protect everything. So that's like my, me protecting my mum, obviously, some for my World Strongest Man trophy, then the animals. So that's kind of what it is. It's hard to explain it, but you know, a lot of people ask me why I'm getting animals on my arm instead of like what Luke kind of got, and. You know, it's just kind of like this, like I said, when this is finished, you'll know what it means and stuff. But I told Gordon I wanted animals just for that reason, you know, just because obviously me being well strong as man, you know, it's like I had to hunt my prey last year to do it. I never gave up. When things got hard, I kept on going. You know, I didn't make excuses. I was mentally drained and stuff, but I still went on to get the biggest title in the game. And that's what these animals do and represent. They're like the biggest animals you can get. They're the strongest animals you can get and they're most bravest animals you get so for me that's kind of where the tattoo is going obviously again I said I represent a bit of my mum I represent myself and I represent the achievement I won the world's strongest man trophy 
and again that'll be overprotected by the albatross and the animals around it. So that's kind of what my arm's meaning. Open time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I like. Because I'm a real artist, a realism artist, I work from photos rather than like drawn straight onto the skin. So what I'll do is I'll print out the image and then I'll make it, I'll draw around it, and then whatever I draw here, for example, will get traced on in this side here. And then I apply a stencil solution to the hand and that sort of changes the pH balance in the skin, which then allows that to stick to it, giving you a perfect transfer for the tattoo. Is that like trace paper, is it? No, it's uh, carbon paper. I always wanted to make money with art. Yeah. And being an artist, like painting and drawing, like that's pretty much impossible. Yeah, is this your sponsor here? Butterlux. Big up to the best tattooist in the world, yeah? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> a sunflower and a butterfly, kind of pretty simple maybe to you guys, but to me it means, it goes quite deep, it means quite a lot. When, whenever I think of, of that kind of, anything to do with the garden, like any kind of flowers, mainly the sunflower, even butterflies, bees, stuff like that, it always kind of evokes really good memories for me um, of my mum and being out in the garden, just stuff like that, just really nice, nice kind of feelings. So this year it's not been it's not been the easiest of years for me mentally. So I kind of wanted to get something a bit permanent to remind me that there's always a reason to smile. You can kind of always think of the good times, and it's not always bad. I got this the yellow. I only wanted the yellow. That's the only bit of color that I'm gonna get. I think there's a nice kind of bit of symbolism there that everything may be dark at some point, but there's always a bit of light there. I thought that was kind of quite a nice wee touch. So thank you, Gordon, for doing that. What do you think? Amazing. So for me, tattoos are very personal and all my tattoos represent my family and people that I love. So I'm gonna talk you through all my tattoos today. The very first tattoo I got was on my chest. It's the Kushi tattoo. Um, I got that tattoo about six weeks after knowing Kush. Um, and that was like a commitment. You know, we made Kushi got my name tattooed on her and I got my name, or sorry, I got Kushi's name tattooed on my heart. So thankfully, it worked out okay, we're married, kind of seven, almost seven years together, six years next year married, so, you know, things are going well for us. Then I uh, decided, well, after mum passed away, I wanted to get something to, you know, remember her and have a bit of her on me, so, this was my first, the first kind of big tattoo I got was the, the one on my upper arm. Mum's favourite flowers are sunflowers, hence why we do a lot of things with sunflowers. Um, she was always in the garden, so the silhouette of the woman is mum watering the sunflower. That kind of means quite a lot to me, this one. It was the first, you can say, the first big piece I got, and it was about an eight hour sitting to get that. I remember showing dad, you know, dad was in tears, seeing it, all the family really liked it and really appreciated it. So it was, yeah, it was quite a nice feeling that they could appreciate the, the meaning and the thought behind it. The next tattoo, or the big piece, was the one on my inner kind of forearm. The, the lion, uh, with that's dad and then the silhouette of dad and his dog and another little sunflower. So this was something for dad. You know, I, I see dad as the the head of the, the Stolten family. He's the the figurehead, the kind of the man that I respect most in my life. And if I could be half as good a man as my dad, then I think I'm, I'm kind of you know, doing a good job because the way he's raised us, the way he's provided, supported, um, given us everything, you know, I'm sitting here because of my dad, you know, it's not, it's not by, by chance that we have this work ethic, we have this um, drive to succeed and that all comes from dad, so 
that's the silhouette of Dad and his dog, um, and then the lion, obviously the, the king of the jungle, and he, that represents Dad, the, the kind of king of the family. So I got all this kind of filled in, more sunflowers, and then we started on the inner bicep, so another sunflower again for Mum. So that eventually will get all filled in, up to probably just kind of in the, just before the armpit. So that will all get filled, that's still to, to be confirmed really. And then the kind of main piece I guess that a lot of people comment on is the, the tattoo of uh, Tom winning World's Strongest Man and then Tom, uh, me embracing Tom in that moment. That's one of the most special moments I think of of my life getting to experience that, you know, with Tom. Um, and seeing, you know, Tom's my baby brother and watching him win World's Strongest Man was the the pinnacle, you know, and then getting Gordon, you know, who's one of the most talented guys I know, to be able to do such a, I think, a justice to the photo um, was incredible. So, yeah, very touching to have that. And then the, the final piece that we got um, when Gordon was up was the, the bit of mum in the field of sunflowers. Looks a bit rottish now because it's only been done last week, but the, that kind of finishes off because it kind of almost started with mum and then the, the arm finishes with mum as well. So um, again, the sunflower it represents mum. You know, mum was our our son. She was the flower. She was everything in our life, and you know, when she was still with us, she kind of brightened up everything. And we do miss her every day, but having that kind of reminders of her on my body now um, that permanent um, artwork which I think this is um, makes me ex extremely happy and you know I often see you might often see me kind of rubbing my arm and um, you know that's just to you know make me feel like mum's still there and, and being able to communicate with her in, in certain ways so there's still a few more plans for ta the tattoos I need to get the inner forearm filled out some shading done there, like I say this, but this this whole sleeve is family, you know, that's all it is for me, I don't, um, for me personally, that, that's my style of tattoos, it's something that means a lot to me, um, that's my tattoos in a nutshell, there will be some more additions, oh, the, oh, I almost forgot the spicy chilli tattoo, how could we forget, so obviously the spicy chilli tattoo, <laughs> on the leg, that's our kind of almost emblem in the Stoltman business I guess, so Simon got his done first and we felt bad, we don't want to let Simon just rock the, spell, uh, the spicy chilli tattoo himself, so uh, Simon got one, Tom, Harry and myself um, and hopefully Gabrielle will get one when he asks his mum with a, and gets a written permission from her, so that's my tattoos. Um, Thank you for all the nice comments about them, it means a lot and stay tuned for the next episode.